Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a house focused review and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my thoughts on Federico Mahora fragrances. This is not a sponsored video. I purchased these fragrances with my own money and I have been wanting to try these fragrances actually for quite some time now. And finally, last year, well, that sounded so long ago. It was, I think, during October and November. Finally, someone really got out of her way and sent these fragrances to me. So I purchased two full bottles, which is like um, 50 mil. And I also bought a 15 um, mil travel of another fragrance. And she sent me 15 samples. So I'm not going to be going over the entirety of the samples because I'm going to be focusing or I'm going to be including them in like my samples kind of series. So I bought two full bottles from Federico Mahora. I did get Pure Royale 906. So this is, I think, a dupe or no, a clone of Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. And I did buy Pure Royale 900, which is a clone of Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. And I got Pure Royale, I forgot the number of this one. I think it's not listed. No, three, f wow, I cannot see, I am old. So this is 359, 359? Oh my God, I, do I need glasses? This is 369. I got 369 and this is a 15 mil, which is a clone of Alien Essence Absolute. So before I start of today's video, if you clicked on this video thinking that I'm going to be able to tell you if these are perfect clones of the fragrances, I'm not going to be the biggest help and this would not be the video for that purpose because I haven't smelled the real fragrances that these are supposed to be clones of. So I haven't smelled Tobacco Vanille, I haven't smelled Lost Cherry or Alien Essence Absolute and the samples that I have in here. So I'm just going to be sharing my thoughts of these fragrances as themselves. So I know they are clone fragrances, but I'm just going to share with you guys my thoughts, what I think about them and, you know, what I smell for with them as, you know, themselves as Pure Royale. So anyway, I'm going to be starting with 900. So this is the most used fragrance. I already got this scent ever since I used this. I opened this package um, during the 1st of January, my new year package. So this, I do have to say though, when I first sprayed these fragrances, they have that very prominent, um, entrance uh smell to it so they do smell a little plasticky when you first spray them i spray them from the full bottles and the samples it has it has i don't know like you call it dna you first spray it um you do get that very plasticky kind of smell to it so at first i was like oh my god this is that kind of fragrance but you know the more that i sprayed i think it's just because you get your bottle like when it's new so I just sprayed it like for like a couple of times and then the next day I just sprayed it for a couple of times and then the more that I sprayed this one and then I sprayed it on my skin I keep on testing it then I don't really get that plasticky smell anymore I think it's just when you first get your bottle and I think that also holds true to the samples that I have because I've been spraying the samples I still got that entrance um that very plasticky entrance to it but then it just fades. So what you do if you buy these fragrances, just spray it for a couple of times every day. For the first two, three days, just spray it, you know, just, just get the oils and the juice working and then you're gonna be fine. So anyway, 900, this is a clone of um, Lost Cherry and as I mentioned, I haven't smelled the real Lost Cherry. So this one is just purely as it is, like a cherry fragrance. This one just gives a very straight up cherry smell but it's not sweet it is not candy like it's not maraschino cherry it's that very it's not even sour cherry as well or black cherry for example in um, black perfecto this one is that very medicinal cherry not even like rouge smoking that one is a different kind of medicinal cherry this one if i could describe the cherry for you guys it would be like when you're eating like a dark cherry it's plump it's fresh but when you bite into it, you get that a bit of like, I don't know if it's like tartness or bitterness, but it's like almost tannin-like when you eat a grape. It has this sort of taste to it. Not that I tasted the fragrance, but you know you know what I mean? You get that feel of like when you're drinking wine or when you're eating grapes. And then that's the kind of cherry that I get in here, but it's also very medicinal as well. I actually really love this fragrance. I use this a lot and I, my ultimate favorite fragrance, uh, my ultimate 
cherry fragrance I mean in my perfume collection is Cherry Casino by Dua Fragrances. That one is a different level of cherry because it is a combination of Lost Cherry and Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait. This one is just a Lost Cherry and I do get the similarities. That very woody, almost like medicinal black cherry, dark cherry. And it's also powdery in the dry down, so I don't really exactly know the notes, you guys. So this, so this is gonna be probably the most flight of ideas video um, on a fragrance, but you know, I'm just trying to describe them as I smell them or what I think of them. And I actually really, 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 honestly, 100% love this. And if you guys wanna try this out, this is a recommendation, you guys. If you're looking for like a cherry, sexy, sensual, woody fragrance, then this is a perfect choice. I think I honestly would be wearing this one the whole year. And I have actually um, heard from people that tested Lost Cherry and they have this one and they said, you know, it's like a perfect clone for the fraction of the cost. So we, I don't know how much Lost Cherry um, uh, is go or how much it goes, but here in Iceland, like in the store, the online store that I shop in, you know, it's like, it's, it's a lot. So this one, I'm gonna be having this and if I do run out, I'm gonna get another bottle of this one because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run out of this one very, very fast. In terms of performance in this one, I would say this is a moderate lasting fragrance, six to eight hours. It can even go beyond that if I spray a lot on my skin and on my clothes, but this is the kind of fragrance that you don't really need to spray a lot, but you know, I overspray, you know, I, I just do, I'm so sorry, but Again, this one, moderate lasting fragrance. And in terms of projection, it does, you know, project beyond arm's length for the first couple of hours, we'll say just like an hour, two hours max. And this one sits closer to the skin, just like with um, other cherry fragrances, like with Cherry Casino and um, Drowning in Cherry Casino, they sit very close to the skin. But as your skin or your body warms up, the cherry kind of like blooms when your body heats up and warms up. So that's what I love in this fragrance. So this is Pure Royale 900, and this one is supposed to be a clone of Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. The next one that I have is Pure Royale 906, and this is supposed to be a clone of Tobacco Vanille. This one, I was blown away when I sprayed this one. I was like, is this how Tobacco Vanille is supposed to smell like? And if this is how, wow, it got into my eye. So if this is how a clone smells like, I can just imagine how perfect like the real thing is. This one just makes me want to get Tobacco Vanille even more. And I hate myself for wanting that because that is beyond my budget. I mean, all fragrances in general are beyond my budget because those are, you know, costs that I could have saved. But anyway, this one, I apologize because my thoughts are all over the place today, you guys. This one, when I spray it, it does have that very, um, very pungent um, entrance to it. And by pungent, I mean, it's very spicy. It's like a mixture of different spices. Um, I get something like peppery. I get something almost, I can't even tell you guys what kind of spices, but it has that very spicy, almost like powdery um, entrance to it, woody and smoky. So that's what I first get in this fragrance. When I first spray it, it's spicy, it's woody, it's smoky, but it's not really like straight up tobacco or something. I don't even really get like a very strong tobacco note in this one. I guess everything is just blended very well. I'm just gonna spray it on my hand. Yeah, I don't really get a straight up tobacco, but if I imagine tobacco as something like in Nirvana Amethyst when it's like tobacco ash or like cigarette smoke or something, it's not that. And it's not even the kind of tobacco that's for example in Bois de Ray. It's not the kind of tobacco feel that's in Hot Couture even though that one doesn't have a tobacco note. Um, this one, yeah, that very spicy entrance to it. I, I can't really tell you what kind of spices. It's spicy, it's woody, it's powdery, it's strong. And I get maybe like almost leather-like smell to it, just like the leather and um, tobacco combination in Sedel, but the tobacco is not really prominent. I'm not really sure if leather is included in the note um, breakdown in Tobacco Vanille, the real one. And I do get like sort of a cacao, almost chocolatey, powdery kind of a scent in this one as well. I do get a lot of leather. So I'm gonna look up the notes in Tobacco Vanille. So elevator music maybe while you're waiting, but yeah, Tobacco Vanille. 
tobacco, but I cannot spell tobacco. Fragrantica. So, oh my god, it's so slow. Okay, tobacco vanille is described as a vanilla, sweet, tobacco, warm, spicy fragrance, and it has, it has cacao in it. So, yes, it has cacao in it. I was right, but I'm not really testing the real one, but. Yeah, it has cacao in it. It doesn't have um, leather in it though. It has tobacco leaves, spicy notes in general. It has your vanilla, your tonka bean, your tobacco blossom. Maybe that's why I don't really get like a straight up tobacco. Maybe it's like tobacco blossom. I don't even know how that smells like. It has dried fruits and woody notes. Dried fruits is very interesting. Does that remind me of leather? So yeah, dried fruits, it's like... Notes that recall sweet, sticky fruits, such as dates, figs, dried apricots, and licorice. So maybe that's one that reminds me of like leather. I don't know. But if that those were the notes in Tobacco Vanille, the real one, then this is very close because I just described Tobacco Vanille when I first smelled this. Yes. I also dented this one, actually. Um, I have been alternating wearing these two at home because i just wanted to give you guys like a full review <laughs> and i don't even know the notes in this one and i don't even know the smell of the real ones but yeah i just wanted to give you guys like a fair um review of these fragrances because you know i have been seeing a lot of videos in this one and honestly when i look at um when i watch videos about clone fragrances most of them are sponsored videos not that i'm against that but you know you just it's just different when you watch a video from someone that really bought the fragrances from their own money and from someone that hasn't smelled the real thing. So it's as genuine as you can get. And I really love these two, Pure Royale 900 and 906. And the next or the last full bottle, it's not really full bottle, it's a 15 ml. And this is, what did I say? 369359 uh, Pure Royale. Uh, this is Pure Royale 3. I really cannot see it, you guys. It's 369. So, but I'm going to list all of them down below. This is supposed to be the clone for Alien Essence Absolute. I haven't smelled the real Alien. I think I've smelled the real Alien, but I, I just wasn't really the biggest fan of it, I guess, because I forgot how it smells like. Um, I don't have enough skin left. I have enough skin. Anyway, this one is supposed to be the Alien Essence Absolute Um clone and i have to say very honest i was like really like i haven't even smelled the real thing but i do hear a lot of people um say that it's like very what do they say like very rich and very warm and it has the jasmine in there but it also has your vanilla and all your other stuff but then i smell this one and i get yeah i get the jasmine and then uh, it's mainly a very powdery fragrance. It's not really as dark as I would imagine it from the juice, you know? This one, it's just very, I don't know, like a jasmine fragrance, powdery, clean, not really as sweet. And I wasn't really wowed by this fragrance, actually. Um, and I know a lot of other, not really a lot, but me, a, a good number of people aren't really the biggest fans of Alien Essence Absolute. And I know, I am I going to be dragged in this video? Because I know that one is, an, is a unicorn fragrance. It is a very sought after fragrance because it's discontinued. And if you love Alien and you feel like Alien Essence Absolute, I'm so sorry. I just haven't smelled the real thing. But I'm just sharing my thoughts of like a clone of the fragrance and... It's actually a nice fragrance, you know, powdery, and it's almost like talcum powder, kind of a powdery jasmine fragrance. And this one, you know, if this is how Alien Essence Absolute smells like, then I would rather choose uh, something that reminds me of this fragrance would be Serge Luton's um, The Tour Noir. Not similar fragrances at all, but that one has that very same powdery uh, quality to it, like almost like talcum powder, like straight up powder in your face. And yeah, that's what I get in this one. Not really the biggest fan of this one. And I guess, you know, that was just my gut instinct saying that, you know, just get the 15 ml of that one. Test it out because I'm not really so sure. And yeah, I did really test this one out. I tried to um, spray this one in like our bedroom and in one of my pillows just to really get a feel of it. But it stays very, very linear. 
not like with these two but yeah not really the biggest fan of this to be honest so yeah this is 359 or 369 it's just supposed to be a clone of alien essence absolute so she gave me 15 samples you guys and they are samples of very very famous or popular fragrances and i'm not going to be going over all the samples that i got because i want to feature them in um my samples videos that i mentioned but i'm just gonna say because i bought tom ford fragrances i'm gonna be sharing my thoughts on the tom ford um samples that i have or clones and i do have um 909 and this is velvet orchid this isn't how the sample comes in i did um uh transfer them to spray bottles because they come in dabber bottles like this so i transferred them to a spray bottle and i do have samples of velvet orchid and that's number 909 i have a sample of black orchid which is 809 and i have a sample of oud wood oud wood it's oud wood being asian and being english having english as my second language oud wood and that's 335 so i smelled black orchid i think years ago black orchid and velvet orchid but i really can't remember how they really smell like and honestly i am contemplating on getting those fragrances at least in a 30 ml maybe because a lot of people aren't you know people are either the biggest fans of them or the biggest haters of those fragrances but yeah i really really want to try um the real thing but i think i, I can still remember how they smell like but pff, that was a long long time ago and i'm gonna be spraying this one here this is i'm gonna be trying black orchid i think i tested these samples like once or twice and i still haven't gone over the entire um samples uh, the entire 15 samples so this one this is black orchid this is very very i don't know like very strong i don't know like it, it does black orchid also have like does it have cacao as well i'm not sure but if this is how black orchid this is like a gothic fragrance i really love this one actually like it gives me if for example club de nuit intense that one has like more prominent vanilla and more prominent like other florals in there aside from the rose like i don't know like what kind of florals are in black orchid so oh, this is really really nice i'm gonna be looking up the notes in black orchid as well just to see if you know it really does smell like how the real thing smells like so elevator music again black orchid i got it i'm on the fragrantica website it's warm spicy earthy woody and sweet so whoa it has 25 notes no not really okay so it has those florals in here this ylang ylang and your jasmine and more jasmine and has vanilla incense chocolate <laughs> i really love this Ooh, it turns a little bit like bitter as this one dries down so i love the entrance it was very floral very like chocolatey spicy but it smells like it's bitter earth bitter earth hmm, very unique do i want the real thing yeah i want the real thing so but i can't afford the real thing so i think i'm gonna be getting the black orchid i think at least in 15 mil i really love that so next one this is a long video the next one i'm gonna be trying is velvet orchid so i don't have any skin left no i have enough skin I always have enough skin this surface area yes i have velvet orchid and this is 909 and yeah it has again when you first spray um fragrances from um, F federico mohora you have that very almost plasticky acetone like entrance to it not really the biggest fan but it does fade away very fast so velvet orchid i'm looking up the notes i don't even know the difference between black orchid and velvet orchid i think the velvet orchid if i remember correctly i was researching velvet orchid between the edp and the lumiere version 
and I, th and I think the Lumiere is more floral than it is amber and the Velvet Orchid EDP is more on the spicy amber than it is in the florals. So, <sighs> wow, I can't really... S this is actually very, very nice. Wait a minute. Velvet Orchid. Where's the EDP? Velvet Orchid by Tom Ford. So I'm looking up the notes of the real Velvet Orchid and the notes say... And the accords are floral, sweet, powdery, amber, and then it has woo, rum, honey, orange, black orchid, orchid, rose oil, suede, vanilla, sandalwood. This is actually really nice. It's good, you know, I'm not really so sure if it's a good way to test like the real thing if you really want to get it because clones can either be like 50% similar or 80 or even 90%. So just based on like, for example, black orchid, where did I spray it? I really like it in the entrance, but you know, in the dry down, it's very bitter. But this velvet orchid, very powdery, slightly sweet. I think I'm just gonna be getting like 15 mils of this one, or at least get the real thing, you know, like travels of the real thing. But good way to try these fragrances. Yeah, velvet orchid is really nice. But I was super excited to try. Um, I didn't even know this was um, oud wood. I didn't even know this was oud wood when I sprayed it. I just saw three three five. I didn't even look at the list because she did give me uh she did give me a list of the samples and I just sprayed this one. I was like, ooh, this one is really really nice. And this one is actually oud wood by Tom Ford, and I really like this one. The entrance of this reminds me of um tobacco vanille. I I mean the nine oh six um. It reminds me of that, but it has a very, it is very like green earthy, very green and woody earthy kind of a fragrance. I still get something very rem reminiscent of leather. I don't know what makes that um, smell, but I really love this one. I'm not sure. This, I know oud wood isn't like uh, marketed towards men, but I don't care. This is something that I would really, really love to add to my collection. <laughs> Oh my god tom fords i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be broke but you know i'm not gonna buy the real things anyway i think i am gonna buy the real things but i think i'm just gonna get decans or something um anyway elevator music i'm looking at the notes for oud wood and yeah as i mentioned this one gives me i think there there's some spice in there for sure something similar to like um cinnamon nutmeg kind of a combination i don't know like a clove clove nutmeg kind of and it does smell like um something leather to me i don't know if it does have it does have leather but that clove nutmeg and woody spicy kind of a combination so oud wood this one has sandalwood cardamom it has that cardamom yes it's the card cardamom that makes this one spicy Cardamom, Sichuan pepper, vetiver, tonka bean, vanilla, sand. I love this. If this is how the real thing smells like, I would really love to add this to my collection. So anyway, this is already a very, very long video. This is, um, I just shared to you guys my thoughts on Federico Mahora fragrances. So I'm going to be putting their information down below and where I got these fragrances because it's so hard to get these fragrances here in Iceland. And she was kind enough to go through all the hassle just to send these ones to me. So with all the ones that I mentioned, I am loving 900, which is Lost Cherry, 906 Tobacco Vini, and 335, which is Oud Wood. That is it for today's video you guys let me know down in the comment section if you have tried any Federico Mora fragrances and what you think about clone fragrances in general that is it for today's video if you have reached this far thank you so much I know this is a lengthy video and I am filming three videos today so my thoughts are all over the place this is just the time of the month where I'm just super hyperactive and I know next week I'm gonna be just you know mellow so Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have fun, much love. Stay safe and see you in the next one.